Hi friends, welcome to another school counseling lesson with Mrs. Lofties. Let's start how we always do with our Come to the Group song. Everybody come sit down, come sit down, come sit down. Everybody come sit down, just like me. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, just like me. Everybody pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees. Everybody pat your knees, just like me. Everybody wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Everybody wave your hands and let them quiet be. Very good friends, you know what comes next. Let's do that listening rule song so you remember what to do with your bodies while we're in lesson. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at group time, at group time. Very good friends. As you know, we have been talking all about safety. Today, we're gonna talk about what to do if you would ever get lost. First, if you are lost and you cannot find your grown up, stay where you are. Someone will be looking for you. The next thing to do is look around with your eyes. Stay still, but look around with your eyes. Look for the bigger person that's taking care of you. The next thing to do is call with your voice. Call out for the bigger person that's taking care of you and listen, see if you can hear them call back. Next, if you've looked with your eyes, you've called with your voice, you've listened for, with your ears, and you still can't find the bigger person who you came with, you can use your eyes to look for a community helper or a worker at the store or the place that you're at. A community helper is someone like a firefighter, a police officer, a security guard, a doctor, someone who helps take care of people someone who works at the store. You can usually tell someone is working at the store or the place you're at because they are either wearing a badge with their name on it, they might be wearing a uniform or something that all the people at the place wear. For example, if you were at Walmart, you would be looking for someone wearing a blue shirt or a blue vest. That's what the people there wear. If you were at Target, you would be looking for someone in a red shirt because that's what the people there wear. If you were at a hospital or a doctor's office, you might be looking for someone who is dressed in scrubs. That's the colored top and bottom that doctors or nurses wear or they might have a white jacket, or they might have a stethoscope around their neck. If you cannot see a worker, such as if you're at the park or a place where there are no workers, usually it is safe to ask a mom or a grandma with their own children for help. We're gonna see some pictures of this. We're gonna play a game that's gonna help us to identify, to be able to see and tell who might be a safe person to ask for help if you ever get lost. Here's how it's going to work. We're gonna pretend that two kids, a brother and a sister, get lost at some different places in the community. We're going to look at the pictures of the community and see who in that picture might be a safe person to ask and why. Let's get started. One day, the brother and the sister got lost at the grocery store. They could not find their mom. They stayed put. They looked with their eyes, they called with their voice, they listened with their ears, but they still couldn't find her. They began to look around the store. Who do you see in this picture that might be a safe person for them to ask for help? If you said the grocery worker, you were right. We know that this man works at the store for two reasons. First, he's wearing a name tag and an apron. This is what the people at the store wear. 
Second, he is standing behind the cash register. That means he works there and he helps people to check out with their purchases. So he would be a safe person for them to ask for help if they got lost at the grocery store. All right, next we're going to pretend that the brother and the sister were at the movies with their grandma. They were in line to get some snacks. But when they looked around, their grandma was gone. They looked with their eyes. They didn't see her. They called with their voice and listened with their ears. They didn't hear her calling back. So they looked for a community helper. Who do you see in this picture who might be a safe person to ask for help? If you said this man, you were right. We can tell that he is a worker at the movie theater for two reasons. First, he has on a name badge. Second, he is standing behind the counter at the cash register. So we know that he works at the movie theater and he should be a safe person to ask for help for the kids to find their grandmother. All right, let's take a look at another picture. Then the brother and the sister went to the mall. They went shopping with their dad, but they looked around and they couldn't see him anymore. They looked, they called with their voice and listened with their ears and they didn't hear him calling back. So they knew the next step would be to look for a community helper. Let's take a picture or let's take a look at this picture of the mall. I see some people in the background. I see a lady here. Who do you think is a safe person to ask for help? If you said the security guard, you were right. We know that she is a safe person. She is wearing a uniform like a community helper wears. She has a badge and she works at the mall. She will be a safe person to ask for help. All right, let's try another one. Hmm, ooh, this is a bit of a tough one, but I think you can get it. The brother and the sister were playing at the park. They were having so much fun and trying all the different playground equipment. But when they looked around, they couldn't see their mom. They also called with their voice and listened with their ears and they didn't hear her calling back. Oh no. They looked around for a community helper, but there were no community helpers. Nobody works at the park. What should they do? Who could be another person they could ask for help if there's no community helpers around? If you said a mom with a child, you were right. If you Look for your grown up, call for your grown up, you can't find them. You look for a community helper, no community helpers. You look for a worker, no workers. The next safe person to try to ask for help would be a woman with a child, like a mom with a kid or a grandma with a kid. This lady would be a safe person to ask for help if you can't find your grown up, a community helper, or a worker. Very good friends. All right, you did a great job. So I want you to remember the rules of safety if you ever should get lost. The first thing to do is to look for your grown up with your eyes. The next thing to do is to call their name with your voice and listen, see if they call back. If they don't, you can't see them, you can't hear them. The next thing to do would be to look with your eyes for a community helper or a worker. Finally, if you can't see your grown up, you can't see a community helper, you can't see a worker, it's usually safe to ask a mom or a grandma with their own children for help. All right, friends. Leave a video and tell Miss Lofties if you ever got lost at a store and you could not see or hear your grown up, who would be a safe person that you could look for to ask for help?